evening. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, hello, teacher. Okay. Good evening. How have you been? Uh, How was fine. your weekend? Uh, very, it was uh, relaxed, maybe. Relaxed? Yeah. Nice. yeah, it was because the weather was, it's not, uh, all the weekend was raining. So the weather don't uh, help too much for the, <laughs> for to, uh, I love for to do a lot of things. The weather, you know. Oh yeah. I, I yes, I remember when I was in school, and it was raining. It, not not raining hard, but sprinkling. Uh -huh. I used to get out from my social studies class. Uh -huh. And and go with the with the higher graders with students from high school. I was in seventh grade, uh -huh. and I I went with the ones that were in in high school to play basketball, because the ones in high school had a, a free hours, and we in seventh grade we don't have the free hours. We we uh -huh. have complete schedule. But mm. the teacher I had in, in, in social studies uses to just put us to color and answer the book. The book was uh, the one from TV, TV Educativa, mm -hmm. a, 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 a big, a, a big uh, book, and it, it has uh, some pictures on it. So she asked us to to all the drawings because it was white and, and, and black. All the drawings we have to color and then read the, the things there and answer the and answer the questions. And I say, I can do this at home, but at home I don't have a, 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 a court to play basketball. Then I went to play basketball. She was always reading a, a magazine. Then uh, when I, look at her that she was uh, uh, reading the magazine i went out with all my things to play basketball the whole hour and then i returned to the other classes <laughs> oh yeah and the teacher uh, no, she, she never me. she never she never knows that, that that i was not there and uh, the funny thing is that when she was uh, she the next day uh, she checked what we had done during, during during her class, but I always do the things and I always present them. And she said that I was her best student and I was never in her class because she never <laughs> gave us classes. <laughs> so then I, I, I do all that job at home. And that's why I always presented the things and I always have everything completed. But ah, not okay. because I was there in her class, because I do, I do the things at home. It okay. was very funny. And my, my, my the, 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 the classmates that think that they were the best, uh, they hate me because I was never at a class and I had the better grade. <laughs> <laughs> but you, where do you study? Colegio Bautista de San Salvador. Ah, okay. <laughs> Famoso eres Cuscatlán. <laughs> Castillo Noble del Pipil. I remember. Bautista, where, where the Bautista was in the in the in the cent, in the center, right? Eh? In, in the downtown. Eh, San Jacinto. Eh, near near where eh, eh, Casa Presidencial. The, uh -huh. the former Casa Presidencial, yeah. near the, the um, Cuartel El Zapote. Ah, okay, okay. To the yeah. other side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Near the ex zoológico. Yes, uh, near there, near the zoológico. The zoo was about... Uh, 
two or three blocks from the school, from from Baptist school. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. Well, now we had, remember that we had a listening exercise that we haven't finished, uh, the 2.5. And here we have, now listen. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Write each problem in the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills and it really has me worried. Why? Well, what is the problem here? Landfills, okay, los botaderos, okay. Now, let's continue. Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries, the landfills have already been filled up and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So what's the solution? Well. There is no easy solution, but many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Two, Adam. I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. Okay, do you know what is a carpool? No? Yeah, it's, a, it's a like a, when a, a, a several people- Yes, a, people that live- The people compare the same car. Yes, the people that lives uh, around uh -huh. And the same, the same neighbor or closer, and they have to go to the same place or to the same city. Then they decided to share cars, or mm -hmm. uh, one one week they use one car and another week they use another car. And then they they share, or they pay somebody for the gasoline. And, and to take them to the to the city, but not everybody is taking their car to the city. Just one car for four or five people. Okay, that's carpool. But the problem here is thinking of the os of the ozono layer. The layer. thinning of the ozono layer. Okay. Now we are going to listen to the other three, Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve, but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Page 46, exercise five, part B. Listen again. What can be done to solve each problem? Complete. Okay. We we don't have that part bit here. And it's the same listening, so we don't have to, to do it now. 
Well, uh, we have here this one. Somebody please read the thought. Me teacher. Okay. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Okay. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. What do you think? Because most of the people in, if you notice, United States, Russia, the big countries in the world, they think that the, the real weapons is the one that, that gi gives us the solution. But uh, solution is not fighting, okay? When you are fighting, you only, I remember my, my grandfather said, uh, La, la palabra, como decía, la palabra áspera hace subir el furor. And, and, and if it's not only words, but the weapons, which is words, mm -hmm. when you are fighting somebody, you only uh, con, uh, find more fighting and more fighting. If you don't agree with somebody, you have to discuss. Maybe there are two different ways of thinking, but you can get to, the, to a third one that meets both sides, okay? Not all the people has the truth. Not all the people has the right, okay? We had, sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, and we have to live with that, okay? There are always, there are uh, uh, always, uh, there are always two face for the truth. Yes, and you have to learn to, to, to listen to both sides because uh, remember that the history is written by the winners but you have to to always listen also to the losers okay in order to have the whole picture okay now lesson object in this section, participants will listen to how to give solutions to problems, okay? What can we do? Now, we have um, we have a dialogue here. I have it hit, written for you. We will be listening to it, okay? Hello, sometimes we're- You could improve your- Pronunciation different conversation. They might- So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it- No, sorry, it's not this one. Um, oh, we are in section two. Mm. 
Na. Are you able to give solution to problems? What do you think happened? Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well... We can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Did you listen? Okay. Do you want to follow again? Do you want to listen to it again? Yes, please. Okay. Just wait. Companies. No. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How? What do you think happened? What? Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then. Well, any questions about the vocabulary here? No. No? Okay. Then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. 
What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Well, any questions about this vocabulary? No. Yeah? Okay. This one in the platform is was only a listening thing, but I have it hit, written to you so you can follow the the reading. Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Okay. Now, you are going to do this um, we are 11 people do you want to do it indivi uh, individually uh, in pairs i mean or do you want to do it group work but we will divide this in two different dialogues because it's too long. Um, maybe, well, we can, we can <laughs> divide that someone look, uh, read some dial in another, the other. Yes, in pairs. Do uh -huh. you want to do it in pairs? Yes. Okay. The first two people, please raise your hands. <laughs> okay, you, Mauricio, and, and Noemi. Okay, Noemi and Mauricio. Noemi, you will be Carla, and Mauricio, you will be Andy. Okay. Just, just the first two uh, films. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, look at those big fish. What do you think happened? Well, there is a factory outside, outside town that's pumping chemical into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can, what can we do it? Okay, well, what can we do about it? Well, one thing to do is to talk to the company's management. What if that, that doesn't work? Well, uh, then another way to stop them is to go get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? Uh, it is called Apex Industry. Oh, no. My uncle is one of the top executives. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Now, uh, other two volunteers? Other two volunteers? Jose Peña and... Uh, Dagoberto Rodriguez, okay? First, Jose Peña and then Dagoberto. Okay. Wait a minute. Before doing anything, shouldn't we have sure that we had our facts right? Dagoberto?
Mister Dagoberto. Se salió, se le cayó la señal o qué. Sí, ya no está, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Ahí está. Don sí, Dagoberto. Vaya, lea. Microphone isn't, isn't working. No, pero no, no lo tiene muteado. No. A saber qué le pasó. ¿Alguien que quiera ir en vez de Don Dagoberto? Mi teacher. Ok, go ahead. Absol absolutely the best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see exactly what is happening. How shall we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay, and maybe I can talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no, I don't think it's a good idea. No yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clear picture of what is going on. After we monitor the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representation, representative of a company to tell what we discover. Okay, Carla? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please. Yolanda. Mi eh. teacher. Eh, ok, go ahead. Look at those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there is a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do is talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is go to a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no, my uncle is one of their top executives. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please. Don Jefferson and who else? Okay, first. Jefferson and the NG. Wait a minute. Before doing anything, shouldn't we make sure that we have our facts right? Absolutely. The best things to do is to the monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see exactly what is happening. Uh, here, uh, uh, there's a problem. Uh, is how do we do that? Okay. Is do no so? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, how do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay, and maybe I can talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no, I don't think it's a good idea, no, Jed, anyway. Why not? 
I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearly picture of what is going on. After we monitor the situation for a while, then we can decide whether, whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell what we discovered. Okay, Carl? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's continue. We have, in this class, you will learn how to talk about solutions using infinitive clauses and phrases, okay? These are infinitive clauses. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people, okay? Uh, clauses or phrases are things that are longer but they are not complete sentences, okay? They, they are longer than a word, and maybe they are, for example, uh, adjective phrases or adjective clauses, or they could be uh, adverbial clauses or verbal clauses, but they are not complete sentences. Remember, uh, to become a sentence, you need to have a subject, a verb, and sometimes a complement, okay? Okay, Mr. Dagoberto, don't worry. Then, uh, we need, uh, we may use them in different ways, but this is infinitive clauses, okay? And that means that they are part, uh, they are uh, used with the verb in infinitive, to do, to talk, to stop, to get, to fight, and to do. This is like, uh, these infinitive uh, verbs are like in Spanish, uh, our R, R, E, okay? When we in Spanish have verbs that ended in R, R, E, those are our infinitive verbs. So, for example, to do is hacer, to talk, hablar, to stop, detener, to get, obtener, to fight, es pelear, to do, hacer, como ya dijimos, okay? Uh, any questions? No? This is an infinitive clause, to do about it, to do about it. And this is another infinitive clause, to talk to the company's management, to talk to the company's management, to stop them, to get a TV station to run a story, to fight HBA AIDS, to do more research, and educate people. In this case, this is a sentence. One thing to do about it is to talk about, to talk to the company's management. Mm -hmm. One thing is like the subject, is, is the main verb, but this main verb is linking to infinitive clauses to do about it 
and to talk to the company's management. Okay. So in, in one sentence, we have in this case, two infinitive clauses. Here we have one way plus infinitive plus the verb to be plus another infinitive, okay? One way to help the homeless is to build more public housing, okay? Any questions? No? No. Okay. Infinity clauses and phrases. Uh, you have to write in your discussion box uh, the solution to these problems using the clauses, the infinity clauses. One thing to help the homeless is what solution can you provide to the homeless? people. You know what a homeless people is? Yeah, yes? the, the people live in the streets. The people living in the streets, people that don't have a house. Okay. But but how do you think uh, to discuss and about that? How do you think about what is the problem to that they have, a, a, for example, in Los Angeles right now, that the people can pay for the house or to live in a house and they are living in a in a tienda de campaña mm -hmm. and there are thousands and thousands of people to live in a tienda de campaña mm -hmm. and uh, because they can they can pay for for uh they are homeless but i don't know i don't know if they no i don't think they no are homeless because the homeless is the people are are um, in the living well, the street, if, if and... they don't have, if they don't have a home, if they don't have a house, they are homeless. Or they, they don't have, have a work. They, they have the chance. Yes, they may. They may have a home. They may have a, a work, but they don't have a home. They and then they are homeless because they cannot afford to pay for a house, but in this case, most of the uh, constitutions for every country said that the government should provide a decent house for the people. So that's, a, a government problem, not only people, each people problem. Because remember that uh, uh, it, it, this is happening because all the economical problems that the uh, United States is involved in, but all that people had paid taxes. Every time they go and buy something, they pay taxes. And sometimes they uh, already had paid what the property uh, really cost, but uh, since uh, the, the banks and, and big corporations always want you to pay uh, 20 times what the things really uh, cost just because they gave you a credit. So even when they already have paid it, they have to continue paying on and, and if they, uh, according to the bank or according to the corporation, if they haven't paid everything, then they take out the house from them and then they sell it again to the same cost. 
Okay. So everything that the people already have paid is not returned to them. Because for me, if they take me out from the property because I haven't paid it all, they should give me back the money I already have paid in order to go and get another home. No, but the system is not like that. Yes, that's why I say it's not, they, they don't work like that. But what happened with all the money you already have paid? Sometimes you already have paid more than the cost of the property. Yeah. Which is unfair. Is the rent, is the rent <laughs> for the live in the house? If you look at your properties, for example, I remember that I got a home from, from a, one, one part, I, I, I got for the Fondo, Fondo Social para la Vivienda. Mm -hmm. And I remember that 10 years later, after I was paying all the time, all the time, all the time, and I, I haven't paid anything. All went to the, to the interest of the properties. And then I say, what happened with these 10 years that I had paid $200 every month? So when, when I uh, sell the house, and the another another uh, people get the 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 property they have to pay again what i already have paid so all that money where it goes it's not fair it's okay. a bank it's not fair because you you know. never you never uh, get the the if you notice sometimes you pay ahead something and they don't like it i remember that i had that problem with a, a scotia bank mm -hmm. because i noticed that when i pay weekly then when I when I finish the month, I have pay more to the capital than normally, mm -hmm. and they don't like it. They say no, you have to pay monthly because they uh, if every time you pay something, then the interest gets lower, and they gain more money from from the from the interest than from the capital that's why they don't like you to pay weekly and i say why i cannot pay weekly if i had the money because well, you have to pay well, that well, day well, yes that no. day i always pay the interest but every if i pay weekly the interest get lower because every week i pay something even if I pay daily instead of weekly, it will be less interest for them. That's why they don't like us to pay on that way. Yeah, I remember that. The social <laughs> do that. Uh, now this practice is forbidden. Uh -huh. Yes. You, you want yes. if you want to pay it all the money, all the, uh, como digo, todo el préstamo, todo el monto. You can do it. Yes, but they, they don't like that. No, they, they don't, don't like, like it. Because More if you are a good client. Okay. No. Uh -huh. no. Buena paga. No, okay. but they say that you are not a good pay, pay. You are not paying well because they are not getting more interest. That's why you never end them paying something with them. Okay, 
Now, now let's check. We have here, find one or more solution for each problem. Now, do you know what FAMINE is? No. FAMINE yes. is when people uh, is not eating enough. Mm. Okay. They, they can die from, from famine, okay? One way to reduce famine is? To train people in modern farming methods. Okay. Now, the best way to fight HIV AIDS is? To educate people on the streets. Mm. I agree. Yeah, I think so. But it's not only in the street. Of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, maybe this great. one to start free vocational trading programs, but no. No. Well, let's let's leave it that way. One way to stop political unrest is to provide ways for people to voice their concerns. Okay. Now, one thing to improve air quality is to develop cleaner public transportation. Okay. The best way to reduce poverty is? In this case, to start free vocational training programs. Okay. One thing to help the homeless is? To build more public housing. <clears throat> okay. Now. Yes, you were right. Okay. Do you want to? Copy it. No. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Mauricio, read number one and the solution. Okay. Um, one way to reduce famine is to, to train people in modern farming met metal. Okay. Famine. 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 Okay. One way to reduce famine is to train people in modern, uh, and N is missing here, modern, modern farming methods. Farming okay. Methods. Now, number two, uh, Miss Yolanda Cativo. The best way to fight HIV. <laughs> AIDS is to educate people on the street. Okay. Not only the people on the streets had problems with AIDS, but... Yes, yes. You know, one of the first persons that died from AIDS was one of the most handsome actors Actor. from Hollywood. It's a pity because after they had all the human they can have, then they twisted and then started to do other things with their own. Um, and I don't know why. Uh, all, now that we have a HIV and AIDS and all that, uh, people didn't restrict themselves from doing that. They continue and they are even more now than they were before. Well, one way to stop political unrest is... Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, who wants to read number three? 
the problem and the solution. Volunteers? No, I mean. Okay. One way to stop political unrest is to provide ways for people to voice their concerns. Okay, thank you very much. Do you know that uh, one of the of the amendments that they are doing to the constitution in El Salvador is exactly that? We are going to have uh, referendums. We are going to have, uh, we, we are not longer to be a democrat, democracy representative. We are going to be democracy. We will have our representatives, which is the, the, um, the people in the Congress or the Assembly, but we also will have our own voice there. They will take in us into account in order to do the things in our country which is a best way to do the things. I know you might, be, you might uh, say that uh, if two people can get, can get together, how millions of people can think or get together to a point, uh, but um there in the past they made a lot of things that were not good for the people and they don't take us into consideration they didn't ask us for example in the case of afps las afps i remember first time i knew about it i didn't like it at all and then at first they said that we can choose to stay in the old uh, pensions program or to go into uh, AFPs. I remember I choose to stay in, in PEP. And two or three months later, they sent me the number of the AFPs and they already were collecting the money for me. And I said, but I said I want to stay in IMPEP. Why did you change me to IFP? And they say, oh, because you don't have, uh, I guess that 10 years or something like that already working in IMPEP. And I say, but you didn't say that when you made the law. And I never liked that. I never like that. And nowadays they finally say that it was wrong to do that, but they don't respect many people that don't think it was well. I don't know you, but I never like that. No sé ustedes, pero a mí nunca me gustó la las FPS. Bueno. Y, en su, y en su momento nadie protestó tampoco. O sea, no sabíamos. Ahorita, el problema. ahorita, por ejemplo, I had a problem because I already have my age, my age to have my pension and they haven't solved it for me yet. And since I'm here in Panama, I cannot be there in order for them to, 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 to give a solution to me. I, I might have to go to, 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 to El Salvador again. I think you it. need to live two years in Panama and to... Uh, I have five years here. Okay, but uh, they... they uh, I, I, they... Uh, Devin, they must solve your situation because you don't live in El Salvador. And I won't leave it there because I don't have any property already there. Ya no tengo a donde regresar. 
When I went to El Salvador, one of my ex students gave me a, a, a room to live there. Una de mis ex estudiantes, de, when, when I was in the institute, she, she said that I am her, her, her mother. <laughs> and she gave me where to stay. Okay. I love the, those. I love my students. And they love me. I was a strict, but they love me. <laughs> well, uh, another to read number four, please. Francisco Ernesto. Yes, teacher. One thing to improve air quality is to develop cleaner public transportation. To develop cleaner public, public transportation, okay? Public, public transportation. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Noemi Yesenia? Yes, teacher. Ah, no, you already read it. Yeah. Uh, Jefferson Stanley. Okay, teacher. Uh, the best way to reduce poverty is to start free vocational training programs. Okay, I completely agree with this because you are you don't solve poverty if you give money to somebody. You solve poverty when you make the people learn to maintain themselves or to be productive to themselves. Okay. And there are a lot of things you can do in order to, to earn your own money. For example, another thing I don't like is that the, the people that were uh, in the war, los excombatientes, they are asking us to give them money. And I say, why? 30 years ago, they were fighting. They make most of the people go to United States, and why should we continue giving them money when by this time they should find something to do or not? And they want us to continue with their children and grandchildren with that money. And I say, why? The, the, I have been working 24 years and I can get my money out from AFPs. But the people who were fighting, they have their money without working. Is that fair? Nah. So now, one thing to help the homeless to build more public housing. I think that this is good, okay, make public housing, but we also have to make them in those house, public housing, make them learn how to do things in order to have their own money, their own pocket money. There are a lot of things they can do they can make uh, they can make handcraft so yeah, artesanías. They also can uh, make um, um, bed seats, o sea, sembrar cosas. Okay. 
They can when, even can they can even help for 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 the um recycle things. They can do that also. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm not with Confia. I'm with uh, the other one. Okay. I'm with the Crescer. other one is Crescer. And the, yes, the, with the Crescer. link is in the chat. Oh, ah, yes. Here it is. I already have right them. And they never, they never come to a solution with my problem. I will send you a, 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 some uh, details about the, your, uh, I don't know, formalities, I don't know, or your tramites. I will write you. Okay, later. thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much because yes, I, I, I'm up to here. I, I I want to to save some money in order to go to El Salvador this this end of the year in order to solve that because I went last year and they said that they will attend me uh, online and then I came here and I think uh, uh, that they will help me and they didn't help me but. I, I know that they are not happy because they are going to, to close. And maybe that's why they don't want to give any money to the ones that they have to give money right now because they want to keep that money for themselves. And the thing is that they had to give me all the money at once. Then they don't like it, okay? Well, thank you very much and thank you for your concerns. And thank God, I love my work. And, but it's not fair that I cannot even have my own money with me because I have been working a lot for it, okay? Well, take care, sweethearts. See you tomorrow. And any any doubt, you, you may continue with your things here. And if you have any doubts, please uh, write me. But wait. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, and remember that we had to finish the midterm this week. We had to finish the midterm. If you have any doubts about it, just write in the WhatsApp. Take care. Bye bye. See you Thank tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sweet dreams. Bye. See you.